来。Our favorite time of the day. Let us listen. Moses and Aaron go to Pharaoh. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to Story Time. Today, our story is about when Moses and Aaron go to Pharaoh. It is taken from Exodus five to seven in the Bible. It teaches us to trust God. God has a plan for every person in every situation, and even if we don't understand it, we must trust that all things will work for good. For those who love and trust God, let's begin our story. Now, after Moses and Aaron told the elders of Israel God's plan to free all the Israelites, they went to Pharaoh. Moses and Aaron told Pharaoh, "The Lord God of Israel says, 'Let my people go.'" So they may hold a feast for me in the desert. Pharaoh replied, "Who is he, that I should obey his voice and let the Israelites go? I do not know the Lord, nor will I let Israel go." Pharaoh was irritated and said, "Get back to work." He was very angry. And ordered the Israelites to be punished. They were forced to work twice as hard with less help, and when they did not get the job done on time, they were beaten. The Israelites got upset with Moses and Aaron. They blamed them for upsetting Pharaoh. When Moses saw That the people of Israel were suffering even more than before, he was confused. He prayed to God and said, "Why did you send me here? Since I came to Pharaoh and spoke on your behalf, he treats them with cruelty, and you have done nothing to free your people." Then God said to Moses, "Now." You will see what I will do to Pharaoh with my power. I will make him let you go. Go back to Pharaoh. I will be with you. Moses and Aaron went to the palace for a second time, and Pharaoh demanded, "Prove to me that God has sent you. Perform a miracle." Then Aaron. Threw his staff on the ground, and it became a snake. Then Pharaoh called his magicians. Each of them threw their staff on the ground, and they all turned to snakes. But Aaron's staff ate the staff of the magicians. But Pharaoh was not impressed. His heart was hardened. Stubborn, and he did not listen. Hmm. Pharaoh was so stubborn he chose not to see God's power. Pharaoh did not know God, so he did not trust in his power. The Israelites knew God, but stopped trusting when things got worse for them. We, you and I, know that God had a plan to free the Israelites. And he did, but at the time, the Israelites did not know that. All they saw was the hard work, the beatings, and Pharaoh still in control. They couldn't see the full picture, because only God is all knowing, and all seeing. Let's not be like Pharaoh, who does not know God. Let's not be like the Israelites, who know God, but did not trust Him. Let's be like Moses and Aaron. 
Let's know God. Let's trust God, especially when things get hard. Thank you for joining us for story time today. We're looking forward to you listening in again to hear God's plan for the Israelites. Have a blessed day. Wow, that was such a nice story. Can't wait till next time.